Hi everyone, welcome to another CNC Gura Shorts video. Today I'll show you how to import a certificate into CNC Gura. We can see that my lab already has a certificate that is shown as unsafe in the browser. Even if we access the CNC Gura address through the DNS attributed to it, the browser already tells us that this is an unsafe connection. For this, we will import a new certificate using Orbit. To do this, we'll go into Orbit, Panel, then we'll click on the Certificates button. You'll see that the current certificate is already shown as enabled by Sinasegura. We have two options to import a certificate and a certificate key. But before you import the certificate into Singa Segura, it is important to ensure that it meets the application's compatibility requirements. Notice that I have a certificate named SSL2, the file type is .crt, and the key is the .key file type. Let's use an open SSL command to validate if the certificate meets our requirements. First, we'll validate the certificate's MD5 where we'll get a hash and we'll do the same process with the key. You see that even though the command for the key is similar, it has a few different parameters. The expected result is that we'll have the exact same hash as the certificate. That is, the key and the certificate must have the exact same hash. Moving on to the next step, we'll import the certificate into Singa Segura. So we'll choose the certificate with the .crt file type and the key with the .key file type. Remember the hashes must match and the key should not be password protected. After that, we click the import button. We wait until the process is completed. And when we update the page, we can see that the browser already has reported a new certificate connected to Sina Segura but it still says that it is an unsafe certificate or an unsafe connection. But when you access Singa Segura using the address attributed by the CNS, the connection is shown as safe. This is because the certificate linked to this lab was generated exclusively to respond via DNS and not via IP. Therefore, we can use the same certificate in other Singa Segura vaults that are part of the same network. And it is important to note that they all need to meet the same DNS criterion. In other words, name.senhasegura.local. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to get notifications whenever a new shorts video is published, and tell us your opinion about this tip in the comments. See you soon.